know that you love it here I won't stop you, girl, just rock it like you do not have a care In this world, it's just me and you Don't be shy, let's take it there In your spots, you scratching my back all right, y'all. So this is the first moving vlog. The apartment is a disaster, and we are moving in six days. Luckily, a lot of our furniture is rented, so they're gonna come and pick it up for us um, through Furnish, which is gonna be amazing. By the way, if you're new here, hi, I'm Peyton. And I currently live in Washington, D.C. for my boyfriend's baseball season, and now we are moving to Los Angeles for the off season. So we're making a quick cross-country move and it hit me yesterday that I'm moving. I need to really get my shit together because I guess I've just been pretending that this isn't happening. So here's the apartment currently. I love this place, I'm gonna be sad to leave. I look at that view, serene. I have already, as of yesterday, sold our couch. This piece of furniture right here, the coffee table, the side table, the table and chairs over here, our bed, our dresser, our side tables, the mattress, my desk and chair. All of that stuff is gonna be picked up by Furnish and just taken out. We rented that for like five months while we were here. I think I'm gonna give away this rug, this big gray rug. We've got some full length mirrors, just like lamps and just little things that we got when we moved here. Also like kitchen stuff, so like plates, utensils, things like that. The place that we're moving in LA, just cause we're gonna be there for five months, is an Airbnb, so they pretty much have everything that we need there so I can give away a bunch of stuff here. I've gotta pack up all of my clothes. So I got these moving bags. I'm gonna put a bunch of clothes in these and then we're gonna ship some of them individually uh, because we don't have movers for this. And we use a company called Ship Sticks. I used Ship Sticks when, when we moved from Dallas here, which was back in June. Basically you just like can ship a full bag. You could ship, I think it's originally for like golf clubs. So Joe's gonna ship his golf clubs through that. Otherwise we put some of our kitchen stuff that we don't wanna leave behind like blender, Joe's Ninja Grill, our air fryer, we put that in the back of Joe's car and then we ship the cars. This is all our little tactics for moving and I'm also gonna be Poshmarking a lot. Luckily I have a wonderful assistant who does my Poshmark so she will be in and out this week, um, getting Poshmark listed and things sold and things like that. That's the plan for minimizing trying to tackle a cross country move without movers. We're just selling everything and giving everything away. I also like the idea that I can collapse these down and we can fill them with stuff again when we move next, which will be in February, I think. Let's start packing. Actually, I lied first. Let's go get coffee and pick up my dry cleaning. One thing I like to do when I move is sell a bunch of stuff, like a big purge. So like I said earlier, I'm gonna give some stuff away. I'm also just gonna give stuff to my assistant. I'm asking my assistant if any of her friends need things like the full length mirror, some lamps, etc. When it comes to higher end items though, I went ahead and got everything dry cleaned that I need to get dry cleaned anyways. There are some items in here that I'm definitely going to be listing on the real real. I like consigning with the real real just because it makes my life easier. I don't know anything about like if they give you more money or like if it's the smartest way to consign in terms of profits, but it's just easy, so I do it. There's a lot of like things I wore to Fashion Week here. This Bronx and Banco dress, this Alice and Olivia dress. So more Bronx and Banco. I love that brand. Just items that I'm probably not gonna bring with me to Los Angeles because they were for specific events and stuff. I usually just kind of purge those put them up on the real reel, or I guess I just send them into the real reel and they put them up for me, which is why I like them. The other stuff will go up on Poshmark. And then of course, if anything like absolutely can't be given away, I try to throw it away. I need to find a way to recycle clothing better. I'm just trying to get more sustainable in general and I feel like there's some easy fixes to make. In a summary, the real reel for nice items, Poshmark um, for just general everyday wear, Goodwill for stuff that I wouldn't put on Poshmark and then I just give away stuff to friends and friends of friends. So I need to package everything up and ship it hopefully today. First things first, I'm waiting for Joe to get out of the shower so we can eat our Chipotle and watch an episode of Bloodline. Look at this outfit. <laughs> we got a shake. It's very important that we each get our own bag of chips. We will get in a fight over the chips. Mm. Our new apartment is walking distance to a Chipotle, much like this one, and that's very important. Also, it's walking distance to a Phil's. All 
All right, so now I'm gonna start packing up some clothes that I know I don't need in the next week and a half or so, or two weeks, um, and start putting them in those bags. So let's go in my room. I'm starting to pack up right now, and then I've also got clothes here and there and this dresser. Let's start, I'm gonna turn on a murder podcast. I've been listening to The Deck, which is from the same host of Crime Junkie, and it's just like unsolved cases. So I've been really binging the deck and that's what we'll do while I'm organizing these clothes away. Open air, side by side we sway there in all the colors. I realized pretty quickly after I was packing up that stuff I packed up earlier that there's a lot of stuff I need to wash and then I wanted to kind of start packing stuff into my suitcases that I'll be using for like the week or so that you know all our clothes and stuff and everything is getting shipped over to LA but then I realized I need some of those clothes like this week so I can't just like start packing my suitcases I think what it is right now what's happening is Joe is making me so nervous because he's packing up everything like a mad packer. He doesn't realize we have six more days here. Like we still need everything for six days. Like I need all my clothes, makeup, hair stuff. I kind of just put everything in piles. So I put like a giveaway pile, a wash pile, and then a bring with me and my luggage pile. And then everything else is getting packed into little bags and stuff. When we ship stuff with ship sticks, you just go online and put in the dimensions of the bag or whatever you're shipping and then you put out the labels and stick it on. And then you can drop it off at like a FedEx or something. So I'll probably do that at the end of this week. But I'm happy that I got ahead of stuff today. Otherwise, I have not done very much in terms of being productive. Good morning, guys. So I'm gonna do some skincare before we eat and then we start packing for the day. So I don't usually wash my face in the morning. I feel like that just works best for me. I use like a some kind of like mist or something. This is just thermal spring water. Sometimes I use those like Mario Badescu little sprays. Um, I really like the aloe one. So I just let that sit for a sec. I'm using vitamin C this morning, the drunk elephant one. I love this stuff. It actually doesn't make me red. I have very sensitive skin. So like vitamin C sometimes just ruins it. <laughs> I'm gonna mix it with the Bee Hydra from Drunk Elephant. Their stuff is made, I've recently learned, to mix. And they call it like a skincare smoothie. I'm gonna mix the two. Oh my God, do you hear Joe sniffling in there? The dust in our apartment right now is so bad. I let that sit for a few minutes. And now I'm going to use my hydroquinone. I was told to layer this on top of the vitamin C and in the areas where I get like melasma. So like this is a little melasma scar. I have some melasma up here and up here. I also have like freckles and I've been trying not to use it around here cause I like my freckles, but um, I'll use it sparingly on my dark spots. And then up here, I use this for like, I'd say two to three months at a time. And then I give my skin break. That's kind of dried down. Now I'm going to do my moisturizer. I've been using the Drunk Elephant moisturizer, the polypeptide protein one. This is such a good moisturizer. I just do like one pump. And then I do their anti-pollution drops, the de-bronzy ones. They just like add a little glow to my skin. And then my last step is my Elta MD SPF. That's my morning skincare as of late. I don't do the hydroquinone every single day. Like I said, I'll do it like once every other day and I do it every single night though. Uh, yeah. I ordered us some breakfast on Postmates because we're lazy. I got us some Bluestone Lane. I got each of us a berry pot. Ask me why these are $4. I got myself an avocado toast with some poached eggs. I'm sure this avocado is browning, but we're still gonna eat it. I got to throw a breakfast burrito. I'm gonna make my little iced coffee. This is actually a mini vase for flowers. I'm doing half 
iced coffee and half oat milk. I like this kind. And then I just take my Truvia. True. I think I've been mouth breathing <laughs> at night because my um, nose is one, not straight, so it doesn't drain right. I'm like very prone to sinus infections. I get them all the time. I'm gonna take one of these little I don't even know how you say that. Explain to me how you'd say that. This stuff, I feel like if I feel like I'm starting to get like a little cold or just even allergies, whenever I take this, it's from Whole Foods. Um, I honestly start to feel better. Maybe it's the placebo effect. Should we watch an episode of Bloodline while we eat? Sometimes we act like a fool. Not aware Joe and I are gonna have our nice romantic Afrin taking time now. I haven't taken Afrin. How long have you been taking it? We're only supposed to take it for like three days at a time because I think you can get like addicted to Afrin. Oh, it burns. Okay, so I've decided today we're gonna start with trash. There are a number of product like empties that I have. There are a number of products that I have not tried that are like completely brand new that I'm gonna set aside for my assistant and her friends, just put them in like a bag or something. Sadly, I wish I could bring everything with me. A lot of the brands that I love send me products, but I can't take everything. I'm also going to put all the stuff I know I'm gonna use for the next week and a half. I'm gonna put that in my closet, like hanging up and just consolidate it there. So I know that everything else is stuff that's gonna go. But we've got lots of trash in this apartment. Things um, that are in the fridge that I need to take out, a lot of recycling, et cetera. So that's the plan for this morning. I hopefully I will spend, let's see. I'm gonna spend about 45 minutes picking up trash and then I'm gonna go on a little walk to take a break and then we'll come back and do some more stuff. I do have to go record podcasts today, and I told some of the girls whose husbands and boyfriends and stuff play on the team that I would meet them for some wine later after that podcast recording. We'll figure it out. It's already almost 2 p.m. I need to get my shit together. All right, we're saying bye to Joseph. He's going to the field. Bye, everyone. I'm gonna turn on my crime podcast. I'm gonna listen to my favorite murder today. My addiction to crime podcasts, I mean, I know that's pretty common. Bring around the rosy, pockets full like OD. I can move just how I move, cause don't nobody know me. Low key, still do more numbers than your fate. You can hate, but you can't say that I've been missing any place. Any fool, what it do? Moving quick, but it moves. Steps ahead, cause I'm not working. Why you trying to catch a snooze? Keep it smooth. Not concerned with other dudes or what they do. Keep it true, I kick the truth. I'm not in so I can lose. Yeah. How'd you like it back to the bank? Tell her on us. Put in overtime so I do what I wanna. Yeah. All right, all right. Okay, so I'm gonna start boxing up some shoes, just the stuff that I don't need. Um, I'm not gonna put them in like a hard suitcase. Uh, what I'm gonna do is put my shoes that are less expensive on the outsides, like more durable, like cowboy boots and things like that. And then I'll put my other shoes in the middle. And then of course my like expensive shoes and expensive bags and stuff, I'm gonna take with me on the plane. Take a penny from us, full court press, Bobby Knight with my attitude. You wouldn't understand, so I can't be mad at you. You ever had to roll coins to get to the next week? Working for the 10, had to rush to the 10 and so. What you know about that? And that made me a better man. Okay, so I'm dressed and ready for my little walk. I'm gonna show y'all where I walk pretty much every single day now that I'm leaving. It's pretty obvious where we live if you know DC. I also don't post about stuff until I leave that place, not because I think like anyone's gonna come try to say hi to me, um, mostly because I think someone's gonna try to come kill me pretty much all the time. So I'm going to do like the quick walking path. I'm not gonna go to the National Mall really um, and walk around there, though I would if I had longer. But today I've got about 45 minutes. I gotta come back, take a shower and go get ready to film because I'm gonna be on camera today for my podcast. If y'all are new here, I have a podcast called Note to Self by Peyton Sarton. I literally love the podcast. You can find full episodes, like video episodes on YouTube and then the podcast comes out wherever you get podcasts every Thursday. But my YouTube videos are on this YouTube channel. So y'all can just like watch them if that's more your vibe. Also today, instead of listening to a podcast, I'm gonna listen to some royalty free music. <laughs> I've been trying to choose better music for my videos lately because I feel like it just makes the whole video so much better. But finding royalty free music that's also good is 
a fucking task. And like, it hurts your ears to listen to hours of it, <laughs> only to find one or two good things because it's so bad. So we're gonna do that just on the 45 minute walk and try to figure out what's gonna go in this exact YouTube video. I'ma need safety, tell her I can't snake me. Ray gun on safety, my girl so tasty. Tell her it's your world, she want the two-tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily, so the stress don't face me. I'm going, I keep it factual. I'm on sabbatical. I'm out in Central America. I need a break from hysteria. Park like the one with the carousel. I get it lit in your area. I'm locked to the vision. It couldn't be clear. You couldn't pay me to care enough. I dare you to hate me supreme with the sound through the stereo. So turn it up loud when you hearing us. We live in this good of your area. My mama proud. She tearing up and it's going down. Got your girl aroused by these massive stacks like a hundred pounds running. Okay, so I've showered. I just went ahead and did essentially similar step process to my morning skincare. I thought I would do a little talk about like what I'll miss about DC for all my DC friends because I really enjoyed the time we spent here. It's not for sure that we won't be returning next baseball season. We just don't know yet. So it's possible we'll be back next year. I would not hate that at all. I'm also calling my Alto to speed things along. Thankfully there's Alto in Los Angeles. I would be so sad if I had to leave that behind. I'm also drinking one of these little white peach hard teas. So the first thing I'm gonna miss is my routine here. I feel like especially moving from a city like Los Angeles, we did make a quick pit stop in Dallas. We were there for about five months and then we moved out here. I lived in LA prior to this for six years, so. Returning there does feel like home, but my life there is much more all over the fucking place. I don't really have a schedule just because there's so much opportunity there for my particular job. There's so many things going on, events, there's so many people to meet, and there's a lot of work to do in person and like availability for that. So it's great and it's wonderful and I think it's going to be it exactly the step that I need. Living away from Los Angeles has been super chill. So I live in Navy Yard because it's close to the baseball stadium. I think if we come here next year, I wanna live like somewhere more DC-ish, but it was just so easy to find a place in Navy Yard and I really wanted a good view. The current apartment we're in right now is called Aris, A-R-R-I-S. It's right by the water, our view is beautiful. It still feels like kind of serene. So I go on a walk, usually over to the Capitol, like y'all saw. Sometimes I'll walk over like around the National Mall, kind of where the Smithsonian Museum is and like the White House. Everything is absolutely stunning and perfect and beautiful. Well, one, everything is clean. I know people are gonna say there's parts of DC that aren't clean. I totally get that, but I've spent a lot of time in Los Angeles. I've spent a lot of time in New York City. By comparison, I guess, by what I'm used to, especially I lived in downtown LA for a little bit, a little while, and in the west side of Los Angeles. It is so clean here. Like there is one area of Los Angeles that is as clean, maybe two areas of Los Angeles, that is as clean as half of DC is. I also love the proximity to like politics. I majored in college in political science and a lot of my friends and classmates came to DC to work so I feel like I've gotten to catch up with them and kind of see what my life would have been like had I pursued that. I do find politics really interesting. I'm not like hardened enough for it maybe. I thought I was but it's just truly a fucking disaster um, and I'm also not competitive and I feel like people need to be competitive and like kind of hard asses. Um, to work in politics. It's interesting to be in like probably low-key the most powerful city in the world in proximity to like things going on. Like sometimes I'll just be sitting there doing my stupid little like podcast or something in my office and then like Air Force One helicopters will fly by me and they're in their little like three, like their three identical helicopters, which I'm pretty sure means the president is in there and I'm just like looking at him like I also feel most of the time very safe here. I mean, there are definitely questionable areas, even near Navy Yard, but on my morning walks, I feel pretty safe. Also, the architecture is absolutely stunning. Like, it's very European vibes. Like, you could totally take pictures here all day. Obviously, a lot of the government buildings and the museums are beautiful on the outside. The Botanic Gardens, I love. There's so many pretty things around here. Like, the architecture is absolutely lovely i've also really enjoyed being a part of the nationals joe's actually been on the team for five years but this was my first year to come live here when he's playing last year i did not i remained in los angeles i'm glad i decided to come out here with him for this season i feel like sometimes the whole like wag culture if you don't know what that means it's like wives and girlfriends of professional athletes 
Some sports are worse than others, but I've also just heard like horror stories about that kind of stuff. I've just heard horror stories where like the, the wives are like really mean to the girlfriends because they act like they're better than them and you're just like, why we're literally all grown ass women. So just like be normal. <laughs> we're just watching a baseball game. Like it's not that big of a deal. So I was just assuming maybe like I would encounter that here. I have not at all. I will say this team is super chill and like a little less involved on the wives and girlfriends front. And I'm obviously I'm saying that because one, I didn't go to a lot of games this year. I know that. I mean, because Joe wasn't actually playing this year. He got injured. So like all the games I went to were just because like I was trying to be supportive of the team in general, um, but Joe wasn't on the field like literally the whole year. I haven't been super involved, but from talking to the other women, they've said that this is like not a super involved team, which actually is great for me because of how the fact, the fact that I'm not super involved and I don't look like the one person that's just like not involved in the situation. Also, everyone has children. I don't know that everyone has like jobs because I think they have like either a job or children, the majority of them at least. So like the children can come up to the games and stuff. I can't necessarily bring my laptop up to the game and like work, you know what I mean? Another thing I'm really gonna fucking miss is the restaurants. There are a lot of Michelin star restaurants here and we've gone to a couple of like the ones with I think two Michelin stars, which were more of like a dining experience. I wouldn't say like that's something that I would do on a typical Friday, just like any Friday of the month. We really made it like a point to try those things. There's some with one Michelin star that are so good. Unconventional diner, for example. It's like a casual restaurant. It's not like crazy or anything. Prices aren't crazy, but they have the best, best, chicest chicken and waffles. I'm obsessed with them. I'm gonna miss them so much. I might need to like come back to DC, even if Joe's not back here playing, um, just for the chicken and waffles, cause they are so good. On our street, there's a restaurant called Chloe that has one Michelin star, and then directly across the street from us is another Michelin star restaurant. And then I feel like within this area, there are so many. By the way, my makeup, I'm doing something relatively simple just because I think I'm gonna put a hat on for filming my hair is disgusting. So I'm probably just gonna do like little pigtail braids, call it a day. So I just want my face to not look like, like I have breakouts and stuff like that. But otherwise I don't need to do anything absolutely wild. Lots of amazing things to do. Like if Joe and I have an open weekend, which he's had lately because he hasn't traveled with the team due to his injury. So he'll go into his physical therapy and like lift or something. And then we'll have all day on the weekend. So we've walked around a lot. We've gone to a lot of museums. My favorites have been the National Gallery of Art and the Renwick. I love art museums. We went to the African-American History Museum, which was amazing. That takes like a while. So like a lot, a lot, of, a lot, a lot of time to go do that because you start, you start at the bottom and you kind of go up the whole um, building, like it's huge. The National Gallery of Art also took us two days. We did the Natural History Museum. There were literally 8,000 children there. It wasn't a calm experience and we didn't spend a whole lot of time there. I'm really gonna miss the Eastern Market. I go to their farmer's markets on Sundays when I'm in town. Love it, it's walking distance from where I live. So I usually just go on a nice little walk and get my fruit and bread. It is so fun so wholesome i love that experience i also said i would not be a metro girly but once i took it i absolutely am it's pretty clean like certain lines are cleaner than others i was surprised i thought it was gonna be more like the subway but it's absolutely not like the subway like at all i mean it gets you from place to place like the subway but you have like full service the whole time you're on it which is great it's way cleaner it's really pretty on the inside like the actual subway kind of architecture, I guess, is really pretty. So you can kind of take it everywhere and it's really fast. I really like the like proximity of Maryland and Virginia. We've gone to Maryland a few times and then Virginia, I go like all the time, like I'm about to go right now. It takes me like 10 minutes max to get over there unless there's traffic. I do a lot of like my shopping in Virginia. I go to Target there. I go to Arlington a lot. I, my skin DC place um, where I've gotten like Cool sculpting and Botox and facials and stuff is in Arlington. A lot of Joe's teammates actually live in Arlington as well. I'm gonna go there for our wine night tonight. So that's really works out well. Last year when Joe was here, I would come visit him and on the days that he'd be at the field all day, like today, I would go over to Little Town and hang out. I'm also really gonna miss the view. I love our view here. I feel like, like I said, it's pretty serene and calm, which I really love. Every day we watch the boats, um, people sailing, or we'll watch the rowers. There's like the row teams of the various schools here. Love how green it is. I love the green. I feel like I just breathe better when I'm around just kind of green. It's also my favorite color. I just love how lush everything is and kind of overgrown. Also, I've decided that the drive over from 
I think like Virginia over to Georgetown, like over the bridge, is maybe one of the prettiest views I've ever seen. I mean, in like in the US. I think it's absolutely stunning to see like the university up on the hill, kind of like in the greenness and going into the cutest little area like Georgetown. I love that drive. I think it's beautiful, like right over the river. I feel like DC doesn't get enough hype for being so pretty and it really is. So those are the things I'll miss about DC. I know this is kind of a long little thing, but I, I really love it here. There could be obviously way worse places to go in terms of where Joe's gonna play, so we'll see where we end up. I'm a little bit nervous, but if we're back here, I'll be very happy. If we are in LA or New York, I'll be very happy. I wouldn't mind uh, Miami either. Hello, that's my old dog. he's here. Where else would I love? I mean, I wouldn't mind being in Texas because I'm from there and a lot of my friends live there, so I wouldn't hate that at all, Houston or Dallas. Toronto would be cool. San Diego would be great. I know Joe really wouldn't mind San Francisco or Oakland. I would not want to be, I'm not really like a NorCal girl. I feel like there's a lot of places that I could go that I don't know much about yet and I would go and I would end up liking them. Like I've heard a lot of good things about places that I thought I would probably hate, like Milwaukee. Everyone that said they've been to Milwaukee is like, wait, it's actually like so nice. And I know someone right now who I follow on social media, but also we're like buds on social media. Her husband plays in Cleveland right now and she's like, low-key, I fucking love Cleveland. I'm like, I did not see that coming. <laughs> Anyways, let me get dressed. Wait, look, there's the rowers. There's usually more out there. There's like five or six of those little boat things. I don't know what they call them. Okay, I'm ready to go record. My outfit choice is just comfy today. Yeah, I'm gonna bring my little hard tees with me. Beachy, shorty ass peachy, right. smoking on that GG, flowing like it's Fiji. Flowing. Every time you see me, Word. I'ma be on. So we just recorded. Megan's over here. <laughs> the episode's gonna go up on Thursday, um, so we'll have that up after y'all are seeing this video. But we talked a lot about cool sculpting, cool tone, all the body contouring things. Just like answered a lot of questions from people who uh, slid in my DMs or asked me questions via stories. So I'm excited for y'all to hear that episode. Make sure you're following or subscribe to Note Self. Okay, so I am in the back of the Uber right now. I'm going to this little wine night with the other Nationals girls. And I'm not gonna record anything there because it's at someone's house and I don't wanna like, just like record her house and her children and stuff. <laughs> I will see you guys next or two weeks from now when I have the second moving vlog of us moving into our place in Los Angeles and all the things. Okay, come find me on Instagram. Okay, love you, bye. Okay, okay.